if you if you watched um uh which you shouldn't have watched it but if you curious amen you shouldn't have watched it for entertainment but most can't help it because they they don't know the seducing power of the of darkness when it comes to the world but uh uh, they showed you that that Grammy wedding, that ceremony was a phallus church. And in the background, everything was nothing but phallus symbols. That's what it was about. Phallus symbols is the, is the worship of Babylon. The Bible says that that's what's going to arise in the last day. This mystery religion, this mystery religion is really the, the, the old occult religion that God destroyed the world for before the flood of Noah. So, and, and that, that cult religion, occultic religion, or is a phallus worshiping, uh, if I can just be more graphic, it's a penis worshiping religion. That's what it's about. Every, that's why every time you see most of these uh, old ancient structures, it was, uh, uh, they was had all phallus symbols on them all the time, and everybody was painted naked, showing their genitals, because it was a it, they worshiped the phallus, the maypole, the, the obelisk. All of that stuff, even some steeples on the church resemble, I mean, is symbolic of the phallus symbol of Babylonian worship. So that whole stage was full of it, okay? And, the, and, and what, it, what they were doing was they was initiating the nation into the New Age church. It was a, it was a New Age initiation that, that it was done secretly. Nobody knew they were going to do it, but you had, but you was, it, they put it, they pushed it upon you so you could witness the age of Aquarius. You could have witnessed this new uh, 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 creature being birthed that will begin to persecute out of existence the true church of Jesus Christ. This blasphemous church, say amen, that changes the order of things will begin to be the direct, uh, uh, has, has brain, has, has, um, has, has, has given uh, the, the mindsets of the dumbed down masses a paradigm shift into what spirituality is all about. Are y'all understanding what I'm saying? So uh, that was a, uh, call it Illuminati, but it was just basically, when we say Illuminati and all this stuff, all you're talking about is witchcraft. I mean, all we're talking about is witchcraft. Witchcraft is the invoking of demons for the will of Satan. It's just witchcraft. So what you was witnessing was witchcraft. When Katy Perry did what she did, she brought out the death horse. What, her, that whole thing she done was called a witch's Sabbath. It's a ritual. If you, if you Google witch's Sabbath, you will see there is the same ritual she was doing on stage was the same ritual that they do in a witch's Sabbath. It was invoking. It was supposed to be an orgiastic festival of witchcraft to invoke uh, uh, Satan in order to, of course, uh, release him on the masses. And, 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 and when you saw the dark horse or the, the, the black horse is the symbolic of the death horse in Revelations. And see, what, then you say, why do these people, if they run the world, and why do they tell everybody? Because Satan has to reveal what he's doing. He doesn't tell you straight up, but he puts it in symbolism. And, his, and he does that for those who are initiated and understand these esoteric things so they know what's coming next. So when you saw the dark horse or the black horse, that symbolized that this is death is ready to ride. While people were just amazed and worshiping this stuff, they had no clue. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So this is, uh, so, so, so when we talk about the end of the age. That's what we're talking about when Jesus said uh, 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 that they'll be marrying and giving in marriage. He said it'd be just like in the days of Noah. Just like in the days of Noah when they'll be marrying and giving in marriage. I never understood that scripture until I now understand that this is the greatest blasphemous act of Satan is to destroy the institution of a man and a woman under God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And so you, now you're going to see, once they totally eradicate the definition of marriage, you're going to see three men and a woman. You're going to see anybody's definition going to go, I want to marry a child. Anything's going to happen because, once you, because the whole goal was not to be married in a love matrimony. It was to destroy, it was what Cain did to Abel by 
uh, by Cain not feeling accepted with his evil lifestyle, Cain decided, I'm going to do, I'd rather destroy the system of God through Abel offering than I would rather convert or conform to God's way. So I'm going to murder the system. So Cain rose up and killed Abel, thinking that if I kill my brother, I won't have to look at what God accepts. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So this is the mentality of this new age, and some of these people are supposed to be Christians. Their mentality is we'll murder what we, we, we want to. We, when the Bible talks about Christians, when we begin to be persecuted, they ain't begin to be persecuted. The reason why is because these, these people are going to feel like it, we, we need to murder the truth so we can feel good in our lie. We need to kill the light so we can feel good in our darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So it's not enough. So, it, so any wonder that they wanted the church, they want to build a church. They want to corrupt and pervert the church. And the sad thing about it was how many Christian artists sitting there waiting on a, a worldly Grammy idol, sitting there watching seances and Beyonce with her porno show, and they just sitting there watching it, getting indoctrinated, and then go and got a nerve to get up and talk about God and God. See, you see, what's happening now is it's becoming a defining line where these artists are going to have to stand up and say, either I'm worshiping Baal or I'm worshiping God. Choose ye this day who you will serve. Uh, what, what? Are y'all there or not there? And so this is the, uh, no longer will there be a gray area because, y'all ready? Remember, re remember when the Bible says that they had captured Jesus uh, well, he surrendered to them. He, they didn't capture him. And, and they, they took him to, uh, to a pilot. And the Bible says that Peter was, uh, was following, but he wasn't following close. And the Bible says that every time Peter would, uh, everywhere Peter would go, he was following from a distance. Somebody would spot him and say, hey, this is one that was with him. And Peter had to decide. This is where we're coming, you, you fake Christians. You weak, jelly back, spineless Christians. You gonna have to, people gonna put you on blast. What do you, do you believe it or not? What do you believe? And they gonna put that limelight in your face and make you have to decide because it's gonna start costing you your job. It's gonna start costing everything. If you don't get down with this new world order, Baphomet church, then everything is gonna, it's gonna start costing all the way until the mark of the beast come out and it's gonna cost you to eat. And they're already training you to submit by not wanting to feel persecuted by saying, I'm okay with it. Or I'm not going to say nothing about it. We're just going to love everybody. That's that coward's way out. Like when, like, when the, like when they said Peter, hey, he was with them. And Peter said, I don't know. I, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Yet I'm still going to follow you, Jesus, but I won't represent you. I won't recognize, I won't identify with you. I won't talk about I really believe what you believe, but I'll follow at a distance, Jesus. Bible says every time Peter got a little more closer, now, he, now I'm going to go and warm myself by the fires of the world's entertainment. And some girl looked over and said, uh-uh, we know you was one of them guys that was with him. He's jumped up cussing because he realized that that his, his uh, phoniness was exposed. Now he realized, now to follow Jesus, it's going to cost. Oh, y'all ain't heard what I said yet. Y'all, no, y'all, 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 y'all little weak Christians, y'all want this easy way. But now from her on out, it's going to cost. It's going to call anybody that would have stood up and look at the movie, look at the media in the newspaper. Did anybody rebuke it? Did anybody say anything about it? Nobody really said anything. You can't even find a video condemning it. It's just, well, whatever, you know, we just, because people have learned that they have been conditioned by the media to accept something or be persecuted out of your job or lose your business or get sued. And this is why now what has just happened is the church of the New World Order, what you saw on Grammy night, is going to infiltrate and come to every church and begin to say, you cannot put us out because now we are the church too. And when a pastor then tries to object 
they're going to have laws behind them that's going to be able to silence that pastor and jail that pastor while those weak Spanish church members are going to be sitting there saying, you tell them, pastor, but they ain't going to say nothing. So I've already, you have to make a decision. Either God's going to be true or he's going to be a lie. All right, my epilogue. Now, let me show you something. This is what I want to talk about. If we can get it up here. Oh. Now, the objectives of the New World Order. This is what I want to talk about. Because uh, somebody read Revelations chapter, what I say? Chapter 13, what I say? 13 verse 16. Revelation chapter 13 verse 16. And he calls it all, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Now this is the crux of the end time. This is the whole goal of, of any, of, if you call it a secret society, uh, Illuminati or Freemason or New World Order or whatever you want to call it, it's the same goal. It's to get people to accept a mark whereby marking themselves for damnation and separating who is for the Lamb of God who the war will be against and, or, and who is for Lucifer, the false light bringer. So they are waiting on a Messiah that is the false light bringer. And everybody witnessed it watching the Grammys. You saw this is the, the Bible says in the last day they're going to call wrong, right, or right, wrong. In other words, they're going to call darkness light. The Bible says, I mean, I mean uh, uh, the agnostic religion, which is what is now the new age, says that Lucifer was the true God who freed man to live and follow out his desires while Jehovah God, they don't call him Jehovah, they call him another name, they call him the creator God, he bound and caged man in a prison of laws. That's why witchcraft's motto is do what thou will. That's the only law they say they have. So they felt, so agnostics and this new age and Luciferians teach or Freemasons teach, the higher up ones teach that that, 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 that Lucifer is coming to free us from the bondage of the laws that was set up by this Jehovah God that bound men and kept man from experiencing his, his godhood or his evolution into godhood. So this is what the theory of evolution is about. This next step of evolution, men have to now become, uh, 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 be become gods. So every movie you have witnessed, usually the blockbusters, especially those sci-fi movies, have been telling the same story of, of, of the X-Men, these mutant abilities, which ain't going to be nothing but demons helping people to, uh, to, to move objects. The Bible says, the Bible called it lying wonders. They'll have lying wonders. I saw something online that blew my mind. It didn't blow my mind. I knew the devil was capable of it. It was a man that was making stuff float. And he, was, he was real. He was really floating. And as he was floating, his eyes was turning different kinds of colors and different shades. And he was, he was chanting on his voice. And these balls that he was working was floating. And the audience was spellbound. And I'm sitting there like, oh, well, he just, he, he just got enough demonic energy uh, for demons to pick the balls up to deceive them. And so now you see these people who say they had his power. They, 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 they call themselves magicians now, but they really operate by demonic power. They operate by demonic power, and they're going to call that demonic power the next step of evolution. That the Christian world who's tying us to a God who says do not explore the occult and the darkness, they're going to say we're holding them back from the next step of evolution. So if you remember any of the movies you watch, that's what we keep talking about. And we're holding them back from, and really what Satan and now, now the real goal that you don't really catch in a movie is that in these movies that what Satan is doing, it's all about making a bridge from that world to this world. Every movie just about, especially those sci-fi movies, is about a bridge, a portal, a gate, a window, a dark opening. So all the blockbusters are telling the same story 
And the whole goal is for that interdimensional world to be able to live in this dimensional world. In other words, where spirit can begin to interact with flesh. That's why Satan is bound to attack man through men yielding to him. Because a man has to yield to the darkness in order for darkness to come through that man to affect the, this natural world. This is why they got people got to keep doing human sacrifices and keep worshiping demons because they got to get themselves in, in agreement with the demon and the person becomes the portal or the gate. Oh. From the, from the natural world to the spiritual world. And demons can come through that person. The person is the portal. But because of the, uh, because the darkness is not thick enough for demons to stay, they got to go back. Or they got to keep having a person do more wickedness so they can stay longer. Uh, y'all don't even want, I don't think y'all want this or not. But that's the whole goal. It's for them, 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 them demonic spirits that were destroyed during the time of the flood, those Nephilim children, what, that they were destroyed during the time of the flood that don't have bodies now. The Bible says they'll be cursed to roam the earth, not able to fulfill their evil desires, but trying to, so they want to get in the body of men to fill out there. That's why they lust spirits want to get in you, so they'll lust through you. They want to use you to lust. They want to use you to kill. They want to use you to control. It's just demons in people. Say amen. But the goal is for these spirits to be able to have their own body. And stay in this realm. Amen. And that's just what we're really dealing with when we talk about transhumanism. So now, now what we consider science, what we consider witchcraft, is now becoming science. Because science has now looked over to the occult because they can't explain the gap of Darwin, how a man became a monkey. They can't explain that, uh, they call it the missing link. So now they have to look over at the occult and realize that, 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 that what these physicists were making equations about is what the witches are already operating in. The, the portals and wormholes that the physicists is getting these equations about, the witches is already flying through them. And they, and what, but, but, but what they're finding is the power source seems to be darkness. Are y'all there or not there? So, the objective is to get every man, woman, and girl marked with this mark. Now, how are they accomplishing it? Well, let's, let's, let me read this. The objections of, now y'all been hearing about the New World Order, one word government, all it's the same. Everything's the same. It, 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 we, we, listen, y'all. Listen, let me, let me, let me help y'all for all of you people who think it's a whole lot of different things. When you, when you see the pyramid, the pyramid is such a great representative of this because the pyramid means everything is really still part of the one top thing. So this level is still in that level. It don't matter, it don't matter if you're talking about, um, I don't matter if you're talking about, uh, uh, witchcraft, or if you're talking about uh, Hinduism, or if you're talking about Buddhism, or if you're talking about Islam, or anything that's not of Jesus Christ, it's part of the pyramid, so it's all lead, gonna lead you to Lucifer. You can call him Baphomet, you can call him Molech, you can call him Krishna, Devika, you can call him uh, Shiva, but it's, it's, just, it's still part of the same pyramid that's gonna lead you to worship that all seeing eye. Which is, you could call him Horus, you could call him, you could call him uh, Ra, but it's still the same pyramid. That's why all these, all these uh, uh, artists, they all have to represent the same pyramid with the same eye. And they all they're doing is telling you we're down. They don't even know what they're doing, actually. The people got them posing most of the time is the man behind the camera. Telling them, and they agents and publishers saying, do this pose, because those people, the people that run the industry behind the camera knows what they're doing. These people are just puppets who want to be famous and rich, and they're going to sell out just to get a little bit of fame, and they don't care what they have to do. And that's why later on they go crazy, and then the media destroys them, because once a person gets up, how they doing it to Justin Bieber now? Justin Bieber's eyes came open. He know the truth. Now they're going to destroy him. That's why all of a sudden they go, well, how do they destroy you? Get locked up, get locked up, get locked up. You got a drug habit. Now you come up dead. 
I just saw I just saw a video today when a woman was uh, talking, a real reporter was saying this last time this boy got locked up, he wasn't. They said he, she said uh, they said he was drunk. He wasn't drunk. They said he was drag racing. They said the GPS in his car said he was only going 27 miles an hour. Yet the police locked him up, harassed him. So what does that mean? That means that because his item came open and he knows about the Illuminati and he mentioned it a while back, they said, okay, you, you're not going to accept the system. He, they probably told him by now it's time for you to sell out. This Christian stuff you're playing around with, you're going to have to stop and come all the way. He didn't accept it. So now this, this, they, they, and you see they do it with the media. They start working on you. They did it to DMX. They did it to R. Kelly. They're going to keep doing it to people. And they, keep, they do it to everybody. They did it to Martin. They was trying to do it to Dave Chappelle. The, the whole goal is to get you, is to get, now they talk, making you crazy in your own drugs. You're crazy in your own drugs. Because when they call you crazy in your own drugs, it, the next step, when you come up OD, oh, well, he was on drugs. They did it to Whitney. They did it to Michael Jackson. The last video of Michael Jackson was saying he was, get, he, he was in his right mind. He was getting away from Sony. They put that, wick, that wicked Freemason doctor under him, and that doctor did the carry out the deed and only got four years for killing him. So this is what people, uh, uh, this is what people, uh, uh, this is the in, this is, this is the inner working of what you see on the outside. So all y'all saw was Britney Spears went crazy and cut her hair off and she went nutty. And that, that's not what happened. What happened was she wasn't accepting her program. So, okay, you ain't going to set my program. You're trying to get away. Okay, now we're going to run. We're put the camera in your face, make you look crazy, make you look like you're going out of your mind because the next step is you suicide yourself. Or, you know, it's, you see, when, once they categorize you as a mental Ill, a mentally ill or crazy, but then once the artist realize there ain't no way out, they did it to Eminem. Once they realize there ain't no way out, they go back to the system. And, they, and then once they go back, they blow up again. They get more famous. They get more big. They, they, they was going to do it to Jay-Z. Remember, he quit. He quit because he knew that he got up so high. I said, oh, but he went back. When he went back, he had to accept the program. When people try to get out, and, what, and, when, and what, what they are realizing, what these artists start to realize is when you go up higher, there's a demon waiting for you to possess a person. That's why all of you artists saying they possess now. Let me get on. Okay, so why am I talking about this? Because this New World Order agenda, all of this stuff, they're using these idols, these entertainers. That's what the Grammys and stuff is about. They know that if they put a person up there like, that wasn't famous, like Katy Perry, just an ordinary person, do a seance, you got them walked out. But because your idol's up there, because these idols are up there, you'll watch it. You, you, you'll entertain it. They know if they would have put any girl up there uh, to, 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 to shake, dance, and twitch like Beyonce, most Christians would have walked out. But because she was the famous, most famous idol, they stayed there and watched it anyway. I want to see what her body looked like. I want to see. I couldn't believe on Facebook that some of these Christians was actually writing about, ooh, didn't she look good? And I'm like, you Negroes are so deceived. These are pastors are saying this stuff. I said, you Negroes are so deceived. I'm, you, know, you know what I said? It, it make me just say, you know what? I'm done trying to tell you. The Bible says to him who will go into captivity, into captivity he will go. You just want to be deceived. Now, how many times somebody going, you, you people going to have as many videos as these people being possessed, and you going, you want to be deceived. You just want to be deceived. You just want to be. Are y'all there or not there? So, so the objectives, so the whole objective of, of, of when we just read uh, Revelations chapter, what's that, what's that, 13, 16, was, uh, this is what we're talking about here. Uh, the objective of the New World Order, to, to establish a one world government, New World Order with a unified church and a, and, a, and a monetary system under their direction. See, this unified church is, where, is what we were seeing forming last night. This unified church, if you remember, they got this guy, this, I don't know where he come from, these out-of-the-world people, and y'all think these people just get famous because they good? These guys, they, these guys are the most crappy rappers and artists you've ever heard. They trash. Compared to cats that really can rap, you kind of fear why they putting them up there because these guys have already made a covenant. They've already sold out for the, to Satan, so they they are puppets to get up there and be used. They make them famous so the fans will follow what they say. So here's this guy coming up with this with his own little a uh, halfway sex, homosexual innuendo, and he put us made a song called Same Love, which he basically was it's an anthem for home for for gay marriage. So they used that guy Macklemore to get up there. To, uh, they made him famous out of nowhere. If you know, you don't know who he was. He came out of nowhere. Now I don't know these people other than what I see when I study. I study this stuff so I can tell you. 
but they come out of nowhere and they just get famous all of a sudden and they make them so famous and when you know when you know the next person that the new world order or these illuminati masses are using cuz they come out of nowhere and you see them everywhere 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 you can't have a show you can't have a, a concert you can't have a ball game everywhere on TV they dirty they dirty they dirty in every commercial cuz they cuz they making them famous so they can then they give them a message they make them famous then they give them a message then they say, this is the message. Then they go out there, and because they got all this fame, they fans, the Bible says, you cannot receive, you won't, re Jesus said, if they don't receive me, they can't receive the message. So, so, so the devil knows, I got to get them to receive the idol, then they'll receive what the idol say. So I got to make them famous enough, so they start already receiving the idol, that it don't matter what this idol say, they going to receive the message. So when they get so, so, so famous, he gives them a message. And as long as these people play their role, and his message was to push this. Now, people want to know, what is all this homosexual stuff? Why are, they, why are they so big on this stuff? Because the, I could really take it further, but the whole goal is to pervert the creation. To pervert the creation. It's the whole goal, to pervert the creation. Also, it's a way to identify real Christians. Because real Christians know they could never, they could never accept it. They could never bow to it. They could never accept it. So we get to this point that do not love your life unto death. This is where we are now. Not just the death of your physical life, but you may lose your job. Because they're going to be your bosses. And they're going to pass policies at your workplace. That you must be okay with PDA. Gay PDA. And then you sitting there watching two men kissing at the desk. And, you, and as soon as you turn your nose up. They discriminated against us. Is there a man want to talk or not talk? Okay. So. So, uh, now, so, um, okay, so, so now, so, so, so what I'm saying is this, this big entertainment stuff is only to create idols for people to accept and then follow the idols, whatever the idol do. This is the reason why Disney perfected it. They get a generation very young. They get those children into those little bitty kids, young, innocent little masketeers singing. All of a sudden, they make them, they, the kids can't hardly have them, can't sing. They, give them a, they make them, get them to sing. All of a sudden, they didn't give them a show. Then all of a sudden, they just these little twins, you know, these twins. And then they, then they walk around little twins. They sell all these lunch boxes and all this uh, gear and all this stuff. All of a sudden, this tween, because this tween behind the scene was 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 is, 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 is probably been indoctrinated and, and and the goal is for them to be turned out so they could turn out the rest of the following of them young kids that's follow them so you see it happen over and over again they the they they the disney raises up pie pipers for the masses of children and they take those kids right out now with the newest one is miley cyrus this girl this crazy girl that they don't raised up to to to, to lead the these to these tweens into having sex with older people. Perverted sex is what she's being used for. Are y'all so, so this is, so, so, so all of this stuff that, see when we talk about the Illuminati and reckoning, all this stuff is just about getting you to follow idols. Making people famous. People that ain't got talent, like Kim Kardashian, ain't got no talent. See, her talent was being a hoe. Her talent was being a hoe. She got famous for being a hoe, got turned out being a hoe, and that became her fame. Yet, people will follow her, and people will listen to her, and they will wear her clothes, and they will live their life like her. So whatever, then they give her a message, and then she get a message, and then she, 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 she becomes a, 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 a priestess for the new world order. And they do it with every artist over and over again, over and over again, over and over again, because now, 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 say why? 
because in order for the real powers that be to do what they need to do to bring about the one world government, the new world order, and the one world church, they have to distract you. They have to keep the masses distracted. Keep you focused on other stuff so that, and keep you never having your own cognitive thought but only being able to regurgitate their pre, their pre packaged uh, uh, simulac that they keep so feeding folk so you have no thought of your own other than the one they put in your head which is telling you what's important to you which is what the celebrities are doing. Now while you're watching what they're doing they're passing laws. And then when they want to pass a law, they make a movie and they get celebrity endorsement to get behind the cause. And because people are so in love with their celebrities, what they, oh, well, they, well, they, I must be right. The devil knows the power of fame. He knows the power of idols. And so, all, so, so, so this is what the goal is of the new world order. That's why we sin no matter who becomes president, this thing ain't stopping. Because the thing is going to keep going because the masses are literally sleep. They are sleep and dumbed down. That they can, do not, they cannot even, even now they show you exactly what they're doing. And people still can't see it. And those that are awoke and can see will increasingly more and more become the bad guys. Because you will be wrecking the fun. All right, let's keep going. To bring about the utter destruction of all national identity and national pride, which, is a, which, is, which was a primary consideration if the concept of one world government was to work. In other words, in order for the Antichrist in Revelations to come upon the scene, they have to break down national identity, which means no, they're trying to get everybody to be under the United Nations. So nobody will be able, no state will, like you won't be a Spaniard, or you won't be an American, or you won't be a... Britain, you will be a citizen of the world or a citizen of a sector. They'll sector off the world and you'll just be part of this sector, but they need to kill your national identity and because national identity gives you allegiance to your nation instead of allegiance to the new world order or to, new, or to the United Nations. And national pride. Are y'all there? Let me keep going quick. To engineer and bring about the destruction of religion and more especially the Christian religion with the one exception their own creation as mentioned above I told you they while they are while, while they are busy destroying the Christianity they're building they're giving you something else to 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 they, they, they're switching it out with something else so the lukewarm Christians that sit in church they can hardly see the difference y'all didn't even see that y'all didn't see that y'all didn't see that the lukewarm Christian don't even see the switch because they saying good and we saying good. And they talk about love and we talk about love. And they got good messages and they switching it out. So it's not that they're going to totally destroy Christianity right now. Right now it's not the destruction phase. Right now it's the mixture. It's just to switch it out. Oh, this is better preaching than y'all can even... And then switch it out, destruction of religion, especially the Christian religion, with one exception, their own creation, as mentioned above. Now, when the Bible talks about in Revelations that this beast, uh, there was an image of the beast that was made, and everybody had to bow down to this beast, same scenario in the book of Daniel, when Nebuchadnezzar set up that gold statue and made everybody bow down to it, uh, this is the religion that they are setting up. The Bible says when the music play, listen, Nebuchadnezzar in Daniel. Oh, should I turn that? Because that's really a good point. That's really a good point. I mean, I ain't gonna get done with this. Give me a Bible because I don't want to. I want to mess with this. Give me a word real quick. I ain't got my other Bible. Give me a word. Turn to Daniel. Well, I'm gonna have to mess with it because I got some notes on it. Go to Daniel. I didn't think it would show all this. Um, go to Daniel. Yeah, 
Daniel chapter, I think it's uh, uh, three or four. Is it three? Okay, go to Daniel 3. There it is, Daniel 3. Daniel chapter 3. I didn't know that would show up, bro. That's good. Here you go, bro. Thank you. Amen. I want y'all to get this point right here. This is it. This is what Daniel, Daniel, this is the book of Revelations. Uh, this is Daniel describing how this thing is going to come out in Revelation. Are y'all there? Now, this is what the anti Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar was a type of Antichrist. This is, in other words, he's a a uh, archetype he's a model of it in other words every antichrist will do what he does what he does like uh, another antichrist was hitler yeah. hitler made everybody worship he, he put up that uh, symbol and that and those he, those uh, phoenixes and people had to worship y'all hear what i'm saying every antichrist will always do the same thing Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof was six cubits and he set up a up in the plain of Dora in the province of Babylon, the Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the council, the sheriffs, and all rulers of the province to come to dedication. That sounds just like what it said in Revelation when it said everybody, great, small, rich, poor, everybody got to come and everybody's going to have to bow down. Then the princes, the governors, the captains, the treasurers, the rulers, the sheriffs, the, the rulers were gathered together in a dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up and they stood before that image uh, Nebuchadnezzar set up. Then a herald cried aloud, to you it is commanded, O people, nation, language, that at what time you hear, at what time you hear the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the psalter, the dometer, and all kinds of music, and all, whenever you hear all kinds of music, then you bow down and worship. That's what concerts are. Because you are worshiping what's behind you. Whatever that altar is, what, when they put them screens up and when they put all this, this stuff on stage, that's what, that's what you're worshiping. You're worshiping it because you, you, you don't know you're worshiping it, but you're worshiping it because when, when you hear that music, you are in agreement with what you see. So that's why they don't care that you don't know these are seances. It don't matter you don't know this is witchcraft. They don't care. They know as long as you hear that music and you agree with what you see, you, have, you are worshiping the beast. This is the power of music. Why do you think Satan is using music? Because music will make you worship his idol or his, not his idol, but his image. If Beyonce would have, was to come out and just shake with no music, you would kind of think, well, some people would still be like, ooh, but you would kind of think, well, what's wrong? with done this, what's wrong? Doesn't look too, what's wrong? If some of these rappers would rap with no music, you'd be like, Pff. but what's making you sit there is this spiritual hand that reaches you and holds you and then takes, puts your beat to the beat of that song, puts your own heart, your rhythm to that rhythm. And then you, and then, it's, and then listen, when they, when they kept you with that beat, 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 it's just like you just, you, it's like what they just done was it's like they plugged in a, fl a, fl a, fl a flip drive, a thumb drive. And now, because you connected, now they downloading without you knowing, downloading without you knowing, downloading without you knowing. Later on in the night, you ain't thinking about it, all of a sudden they come up in your heart. That music will come up in your heart. Later on, you don't know where this come from, where these lustful thoughts come from. They download it without you knowing it. They don't care that you didn't know that was witchcraft. They don't care you don't know that these guys are chanting and these are seances. They don't, you just listen to the beat. You just listen to the beat. But why the, the beat is, is the connector. It, uh, that's, what the, that's what the voodoo drums in Africa was for. They get your drum pattern, and once you get the drums connect you to the spirit that they're trying to conjure, and once you connect it, the spirit can download whatever thoughts and attitudes it, can, it wants you to have. So this is why Satan uses music. This is why music is such a great tool of this new world order. You know the Super Bowl's coming up. Please watch it. The Olympics. Watch this. Watch. Watch what this don't have nothing to do with this. As people are sitting there. Like, oh, this is a good stage show. 
because people are so dumbed down, they don't know that everything they see in uh, Ecclesiastes said ain't nothing new under the sun. Everything they see in is just rituals that you don't know about. They do it every time, and, and all it's doing is a process of initiation. It was initiation is just to capture you and download a message in you without your knowledge that you don't even know why you actually are agreeing with certain things. But you was, they caught you a long time ago. That's what's wrong with some of y'all young cats that listen to this music now. Even when I say it, you fighting against what I'm saying because you was captured and they done already downloaded in you to rebel against anybody coming against your idol. That's why all these rappers got to put songs about haters out to make you rebel against when you know common sense says what you talk about is foolishness. But I got to make you think it's something good so you will fight for your idol. So, so, for all y'all who thought music is just music, and they, they don't, the industry will lie, they don't lie like that for years. All we just say, it ain't, it ain't no big deal. Well, then why do they put music in commercials? Why pay a million dollars for a Super Bowl commercial to, to play a song? Because you're going to, because I know that's going to get in your heart. And it only takes a minute worth of commercial to get you. Because music, listen, y'all, I'm trying to help y'all. Music is a, listen, music it's spirit language. You didn't catch what? Music is spirit language. Music can speak without you understanding it. It can impress upon you. Oh, how can I put this? Oh, how can I put it? Music talks without you really realizing that you're receiving from it. I ain't talking about them even talking or rapping. I'm talking about just the music. The music itself. Because, the, listen, music is a vehicle for the spirit of the person who created it. The same way a person that paints a picture, that canvas is a vehicle for what's in their soul. When a person sits down and, 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 and does a beat or puts music together, that sound is a vehicle for what's in their heart. And if they, and the Bible says, if they, if 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 your heart, I mean, if 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 you uh, how to say, if your, if the light in you be darkness, it's a great darkness. So when an artist that sits there in the studio and smoke blunts and whatever you do till a demon comes in, which is what Jay Z said they do, let the spirits in, then what he did was. He, the beat that he's listening to, vibing out to, is captured him to download the will of the demon that the song is for. And when he goes to the war show to accept the, the war, the demon's right there with him. That was my song. That's what the demon said in the spirit realm. That was my song. I gave him. I channeled that through him. That's why these war shows are so wicked because there ain't nobody being worshipped but the devil that's giving these people the ability to act. Nobody wants to talk about this. So this is the power of music. Listen, y'all ready for me? No other industry loses this much money, yet more money is pumped into it, even though it ain't selling no records. Now, back in the 70s and 80s, you could make some money, but now you can't make money on music because you could go to iTunes and download the song you want. So every artist might put out a whole album and get one dollar. But yet, these, these record companies are doing something that is capitalist suicide in any other, in any other uh, genre, in any other business, this will be capitalist suicide to keep putting money in something you ain't getting nothing out of it. Because what they're getting out of it is not monetary, it's spiritual. Because they must keep the idols before you. So that they must keep the idols before you. Because if they can keep the idol before you, they can keep the message before you. And that's why every idol agrees. Everybody in the music industry agrees. Nobody in the music industry says something from the other one. Why? Because we are all part of the system. Is this too much? So I wanted to show y'all that 
for all of you cats who feel that it's just music, let me get done. Look at this, uh, uh, verse uh, 6. And whoso falleth not down in worship shall the same hour be cast into the midst of the burning furnace. Therefore, at the time when people heard the sound of the cornet, the harp, the sack, butt, the psaltery, the flute, and all kinds of music, all kinds, look at that, all kinds. That sounds like what a war show is, all kinds of music. So that's not talking about hip hop. That's not talking about R&B. That's not talking about rock. That's not talk, that's talking about all kind. Satan is using all kind, including some gospel. You don't think Mary, Mary, and them ain't being used, and these people, these weak, spineless Christians, that just got these club songs with no conviction, and, and more sexy than people. Come on, man, please. They being used. They being used to lower the standard for a generation of young women, church women, of Christian girls who want probably who's looking for examples, and they sitting there seeing these tight clothes and this old, all this old f f glam and fame, and they walking right out into it because they're doing it. Why? Because they're just church idols. And the idol is an idol because behind the idol is a demon. Jesus said, your idols are demons. Look at this here. Uh, he said, uh, uh, therefore, at the time when all people's uh, music, uh, all kinds of music, all the people's, uh, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshiped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Y'all ready for me? Now, this is where we are. Wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came there and accused the Jews. Don't about those that live right, which is only Daniel and them. They spake and said to King Nebuchadnezzar, they went to the system, they went to the government, they went to the school system, they went to all of these uh, new order, new age minded people that, uh, that's over stuff and said, O king, live forever. Thou king has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the music shall be okay with homosexuality. Every man that heard the sound of the music shall be okay with gay marriage. Is it, any, is it any wonder that they had to do a ceremony they had to surround it with music first before they did? If they'd have stood up there and just came out and did that wedding, people would have looked at it and walked out. People would have looked at it like, what's wrong? Something's wrong here. But they, they used the music for you to sit there and be inoculated by the music, and the music allowed you to swallow the whole pill. So now these same people that are worshiping the image now are going to look at those that won't worship the image. The, that's the, they're going to look, this darkness going to look at the light and go to the system, which is the law. They passing laws on us to say they ain't bowing down. Are y'all there or not there? And they said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, if ever, that, okay, thou, thou, verse 10, thou, O king, has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, the, the heart, the flute, the sack, but the dust, all kinds of music, shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoso fallen not down and worship, that he should be cast into the midst of the burning fire, the fiery fire. He's going to be judged if he don't worship. There are, there are certain Jews whom thou hast set over there for us the promise of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Where was they set over? Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Talking about Daniel and his boys. They were set over Babylon. They was over the province. They was mixing with the people. But there came a time where they're going to have to decide who you for, who you with. For. Did I not tell y'all? It's coming a time where, yeah, you, you got along with them. But when they set up at, 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 at image... And the image is set up every time you, when they put something that's against the word of God in your face and you decide I'm not going to say nothing, you just now bow down. And you can, because you can go along to get along until people, I'm going to show you what was going on. Let me show you. Because this, this is where we are. what's happening. Look, it says, uh, 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 you know, these Jews, uh, uh, these guys, Sarah, Meshach, Abednego, these men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury. Ain't that how they get, they get indignant? They, how dare you not believe that we were born like that? How dare you? How dare you try to take away our freedoms and our rights? That's what they're saying. Now. And they get indignant and angry at you. Then they brought these men before the king. They took them to court. They taken us to court. And the laws that the king had already decreed are already against those who don't worship the beast. Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said unto them, is it true? Oh, Shadrach, ain't that what the media do? As soon as somebody say something against homosexuality, the media come out and say, 
uh, do so, so do you believe that? What are they waiting on? A retraction. They wait. The person that says, yeah, they don't mess with them no more. But what do everybody do? Uh, uh, well, I, I love everybody and God is love and I, I don't hate anybody. You know, because that backpedaling is them bowing, bowing to the image. That's bowing to the image. Y'all there or not there? That's why you see these celebrities are quiet on every subject because they know I ain't going to. If I say something, if I say something, it's the end of my career. Are y'all there? Look at this. So they brought these men before the king, the law. And Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Oh, is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, do you not, do ye not serve my gods? Nor worship, are you not down with what are we down with? Are you not down with this new age? Are you not down? Are you not down? Because, you know, we know that you're down when you hear this music and you start doing what we do. Some of y'all who want to live for God, that's what people are looking at y'all now. Oh, you don't fornicate? You don't do? Okay, well, then they persecute you because they see light. And they can't enjoy darkness with light around. So they got to either put your light out or they got to convert you to the darkness. Look at this. He says, uh, look at verse 15. Now, if you be ready, <laughs> I'm going to give you another chance. This is, how, this is what's happening. They're always going to give you opportunity to, to recant what your belief is. The corn, I'm going to give you another chance. When you hear the time, what, what time you hear the sound of the flute, the cornet, the harp, the sack, the salt, the dumps, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image that I have made well. <laughs> so you fall, I mean, you worship him well. You show me that you, see, you ain't going to be able to hide. You're going to have to prove. But if you worship not, you shall be cast that same hour into the midst of the burning furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Now, was the issue with Sadrach and them or was it with the God they served? The issue was with the God they served. But they're going to persecute the, you that believe in that God. But the real war is with the God they serve. Because what he was really saying was, the whole goal Satan was doing, he was saying, if your God is really God, we're going to see if you're going to bow to the, this God or if you're going to actually worship your God and die. Will you die for your God? Ain't that an end time Christian word? Many of us can't even stand for him. We can't even live for God. How are we going to die? We fall out with, with the church every two weeks. We fall out, get mad at everybody. You know, we run in the backslide until the concert comes. Look at this. He says, uh, he says, uh, he, now he said, now who shall deliver you out of my hands? And Sarah B. said, begged to go. The answer said, O King Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, he will deliver us out of thy hand. That is the, that is the response that we're going to have to have. When the Bible says, if you go into captivity, into captivity you should go. If you get killed with the sword, with the sword, you should be killed. That's what they're saying. Well, look, man, if, you know, if I, you know, we, we, we understand, you know, you know uh, 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 let me see how he words. I like how he said it. He said, if it be so, our God, whom we serve, you know, he's able uh, to deliver us so we're not really worried about your threat because the problem you made he made a mistake when because the devil always got to indict our God when you said what what who is the God that's going to deliver you well that was where you messed up at because now you got God to show up and say okay well y'all stand for me I'm gonna deliver you and if I don't I'm gonna still get glory out of your life and he says uh he says he says so it would be so our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning Fury furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if this is it now, because you're gonna have to be Christian here, you're gonna have to be saved. You're gonna have to be saved. And I'm afraid many of us are not that saved. But if not, be it known to thee, O king, that we shall not serve thy gods, and we shall not bow to the golden image which thou hast set up. We shall not bow to these false images of marriage. We should, y'all want to talk about this. We won't bow. Therefore, you're going to have to throw me in the furnace, which means I'm probably going to jail or. But see, nobody. But see, most people ain't going to jail. They're going to find a way to work within the system. Well, i tell you what I'll do. I'll lower my head, but I won't bow. But I'm not. No, you just not. You still bowing. Are y'all? Are y'all? I'm, 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 I'm great done. Look, what he said. He said, and then Nebuchadnezzar, full of fury, and and the form of his visage, uh, 
performance vicious was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. You know, these are the guys he said he was he loved them at first. Therefore, he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace seven, seven times more, and it won't be than, than it was to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and cast them into the burning fiery furnace. And these men were bound with their, in their coats and their hosen and in their hats and their garments, and they were cast into the midst of the burning, burning fiery furnace. And therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew, slew men that slew the men that Shadrach, that, that slew, the fire slew the men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, in, fell, burn, fell down burn, bound into the midst of the fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, did we not cast three men? And then this is the promise of, this is the, then this, I'm going to show you this because you need to know as a Christian, this is the promise. This is the promise. And the promise, what I got out of this was, uh, you know, well, let me read it because the Bible says, Nebuchadnezzar said, uh, did we not cast down three, three men bound in the furnace? He said, and they asked the true king. And he said, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt in the form of like the son of God. And the Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth. Now, what I, now, this is what I was saying. This is what I saw. That that part is up to God. And that's how you have to live as a Christian because you, you can't worry about if that happens. That part, the rescue part, it's up to God. You be obedient to represent God. But that part, because to live is Christ. Whether he walk in your fiery furnace with you and save you, or whether you burn up, you still going to be with the Son of Man, whether you get burnt up or not. Are y'all there? This is the, um, this is the, the mission of the of the of the new world order that's how they use them that's how they got us inoculated in sleep that's how they passing all these laws against us and we don't even know that there are laws now that they can start to pass where they can put you in jail for disagreeing and we just we just looking at the idols and we're not realizing that this thing is already upon us and you have to make up in your mind like these three boys made up in their mind that even if it costs me that I have to stand. Because it's going to start costing Christians your job. Don't you know everybody that know who's a Christian on the job? And what the problem you don't realize, they are, put, they are moving more atheists and Satanists and agnostics up in positions of power over, over you. They're getting the supervising positions. And those are the ones that's going to persecute you. Those are the ones that's going to mess with you. They're the ones going to pass ordinances and little mandates to try to mess with you, to make you decide whether or not you want to, you're going to have to decide you're going to, be a, you're going to forsake this job and be a Christian. Are y'all there? Sit on your feet. I can't believe how lost, how blind Christians are to this stuff. I can't believe how Christians, I, I saw some of the stuff on Facebook, I almost, I couldn't believe. Like, you, are you really kidding me? Are y'all really entertained? It reminded me of, uh, you never seen the movie Gladiator when Maximus killed them guys, and he said, are you not entertained? Like, and, and they, they were shocked, because it's like, this ain't entertaining. This is too shocking. You, you, you just brutal. But people can't even see how brutal that is. Are you not entertained? You just watched a witchcraft seance and you're entertained? You just watched softcore porn. You entertained? You just watched blasphemy against the most high. Babylonian phallus worship. Are you not entertained? You just watched your gospel artists. Sell out and enjoy bell worship for a piece of metal. Are you not entertained? That's what Satan's going to ask them. No, 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 don't cry. Remember, you was entertained. You knew 
knew where those lyrics came from. Were you not entertained? You understood that they was working by the power of devils, but you were still entertained. You knew God was convicting you while you were sitting there watching it, but you was entertained. Entertainment is a is is, is entertainment is brainwashing for detainment. In order to get detained, you must entertain. I can't detain you unless you entertain me. You have to suffer, put up with me. Then I'll, if, you, if you let me stay around you long enough, I'll detain you. But first you must be entertained. So this whole new world order, all this stuff is coming to pass because we are entertained. Look at this Super Bowl coming up. Look at how crazy people stood out in the below zero weather. This last game that was, I can't remember where it was. I mean, but it was, it was below zero weather. I mean, right now, I go out there now, I'm like, man, it's too cold to do anything. These people was outside watching the, a, a game. Stadium is packed. Because they would die to be entertained. And that's what, the, that's what Satan is making people do. Lay down their life for their idols. Jesus is coming. And right quick. And his reward is with him. And before he comes, the man of sin has to be revealed. And the Antichrist has to come on the scene. And all I'm saying, Lord, Lord, please let our faith fail not. The Bible says because of the increase of wickedness, the love of many will grow cold. Many of us will get our light put out. Lord, let me be one of the ones that stand no matter what. No matter what persecution I see, no matter what my children do, let me be one that stands firm on the foundation. Lord, no matter what happens, no matter how much the enemy might attack me, Lord, let me raise up the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ. Lord, let me not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation for those that believe. Lord, let me never stop preaching because preaching is foolishness to them that, that, that do have no understanding of God. Lord, you chose preaching of the gospel to confound the wise. Father, give us ability and strength and courage to fight no matter what happened. Let us not assimilate, mix, or switch for this new age gospel. But let us stand up even if it cost us something. Let us stand up, God. You say you ain't looking for the broad road that go to the award show. But you're looking for the small remnant. That narrow road of people that said, I'm going to live for you because I'd rather get my reward in heaven than get my accolades on earth. Lord God, we raise us up to be strong witnesses. Whatever you do, Lord God, no matter what I go through, no matter how bad and how dark it gets, let me be saved. Let me be saved. Lord, my children got to make their own decision now. But let me be saved. My wife got to make her own decision. I love them. But let me be saved. Father, let me be saved. That's what it's coming down to. The world ain't going to have no riches. Ain't going to be about no money. Ain't going to be about living in mansions. Ain't going to be nothing left. Lord, ain't nothing going to be left but heaven. Let me be saved. The wickedness of man is destroying the earth. Ain't going to be no reason to want to live here. We're going to want to go. Let us be saved. Lift your hands. Say, Lord, let us be saved. Let us be saved. Give the Lord some praise.